GC here, and we are back for Final Impression, Safe Season 1. Jenny, it's Dad, again. Where are you? So yeah, that's it. We had a run of eight episodes, and I actually enjoyed it enough to watch it fast enough that I actually had to uh, wait for the new episode to come out. So that was a surprise. Granted, I think overall feeling... I enjoyed the pacing and the piecemealness of the mystery, and I enjoyed the vibe. I mean, granted, I didn't really care about anyone per se, and yeah, like I, I, I wasn't committed to like, oh, what happened to her? But more like, when is this gonna get resolved? How is it gonna get resolved? Especially the fact when they start showing you where his daughter is, and you're like, oh, how are they gonna get together? Definitely reminded me of The Fall, because uh, with the fall in season two, you sort of see Gillian Anderson and the Shifty Shades guy. They're just like doing their thing. It's like, how are they going to converge and meet? Definitely reminded me of Henning Mankel's stuff as well, where it's just things that happen and just normal people react to it. And I enjoyed it for what it was. The interactions were interesting and just like how piecemeal, how they revisit homes, just setting up the crime scenes and just... What is this bigger mystery? Granted, that when the mystery sort of was solved and you sort of see what was happening, you're like, oh, okay, sure, why not? But then I think the biggest twist at the end where it's just like, I didn't really dig that. I felt like it was just too shoehorned in to be like, yeah, we got to explain everything because everything has to happen for a reason. But granted, I realized it would have been a lot more empowering in terms of just the scope of what she's done and... And it's just like, wow, you can live with demons in your life. But rather, that last shoehorn twist is just like, come on, like, he could have died some other way. That could have been easily written in another way. And I felt like it would have been much more ironic in terms of just this entire movie is set off because the kid is in the pool. So I felt like if it was just a random thing that happened that set off these change of events, it would have been much more wow rather than, oh, it was mid planned but granted it was like she acting on the moment but i still felt like if it was just like a random thing i would have dug it a lot more and henny manko books are definitely like that where it's just like there's no way they can solve the mystery except for the fact that this dumb person did something dumb at this moment and you're like yeah that's the only way they could have done it and i enjoyed those moments so overall michael c hall playing a british guy it is interesting in terms of just why didn't they just cast another actor like why did he particularly have to play him but granted i wonder if this would have gained audiences if it was just a strictly british cast i mean granted i wouldn't have seen this because i don't know anything about british actors so i wouldn't have gravitated towards this unless it was like really great or something but i just gravitated because michael c hall i haven't seen him in anything and i watched it and i was like wow glad i watched that so there's that and it does make me wonder if they actually did have someone in mind, but they're like, now, nah, see, Hall is producing, he's going to cast, he's going to act, who knows. So overall, I'm, I'm cool with this. Harlan, Harlan Coben, if you adapt more of your books, I definitely will check them out, especially the fact that it's British and if it's like done in this sense. So I enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought it would. But at the same time, it's like, I didn't enjoy it that much, but I just like, it surprised me when I was like, oh, oh, I need to watch the next episode. Oh, it's not even out yet. I got to wait for a week. Wow. Did I expect that? I thought I would have just like piecemealed it till the end to the point where the entire series was already out on Netflix, but I didn't. So take that out for whatever that's worth. Anyway, that's it for this final impression for Safe Season 1. Out. Out.